morning everybody Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors how are you doing today I am doing pretty well sorry about that glare it must be my lights are just right so um, here we are with my creative year and what the video today is going to be is about a book review um, gotta catch my breath <laughs> Okay, um, the book that I'm going to review today is called Syllabus by Linda, L-Y-N-D-A, Barry. And it says, Notes from an Accidental Professor. Now, um, I was told about this book. Where's the edge of it? Uh, I was told about this book by um, Barbara Clark, who's a dear friend of mine. And she was talking, I've been talking about taking my journaling in a different direction. And when I say journaling, I mean my personal journaling. Um... I really wanted to stop just all writing and I wanted to add something more to it. Well, guess what? I found it. This book, um, it tells a story as you go through it. And if you notice, um, these are all yellow pieces of paper. These are actually um, notes and uh, images and drawings of what she taught her class in this college. Okay, let me see if there's a... Um, it says, The Unthinkable Mind, what it is. Write, write what you see. Making comics. Um, that's a class program. Basically, I, it's hard to give um, this book... A, you know, I can't just read an, an, an excerpt because that's not how it works. Um... It talks about her as a professor going into an art class and people saying, I can't draw. And what she found out is, yeah, everybody can draw. And let me show you. Um, where is it? Right here. She told everybody to draw a superhero Batman. Okay? And if you see, there's all different styles of drawings. And the way she put it, is some people have drawn more than others and some people you know have have never drawn she's also got them drawing taxis okay and it says here it says here let's draw a car and then let's draw a batman right there's something beautiful in the lines made by people who stopped drawing a long time ago and there's something curious about how scared they are when i ask them to draw a car for two minutes or one minute it's an exercise from Cartooning Philosophy and Practice by Ivan Brunetti that I sometimes use during the first part of a workshop I'll teach called Writing the Unthinkable. Draw a car even if you don't know how to see what happens. And what usually happens is a kind of involuntary laughing that sounds like laughing of people who are about to enter a spook house ride. Just how scary is this ride going to get? Your car begins to take shape and the shape it takes seems out of your control. There is a thrill there. And a terror, too, that becomes especially evident when I ask people to stand up and look at each other's drawings. That right there got to me because I know um, when I share drawings, I'm like, oh, my God, people are going to judge. People are going to look. You know what? It doesn't matter. Um, all we did was draw a car, but the room feels like it's on fire. Why? Some of the cars are quite far out, and some are barely there, like phantoms made of ghost lines. Others are more certain, and some seem to feel their way in. The same thing happens when I ask them to draw a Batman. Sometimes someone knows just how to do it, but mostly they are not sure of the way, but because they only have a very limited amount of time to do it, thinking it over doesn't come into play, and a natural light kind of this picture comes about like this. So these are really cool. I'm not going to finish the whole thing. But the whole point behind it is you can draw. You can um, add more to your journals. And you can um, really benefit by this style. Okay. Which is, that, like I said, this is a lot more in depth. Um there's so much in here, so much information. Uh, four by four exercises. There's different exercises to do, the basic drawings to do. Um, if you're looking to be able to want to sketch more, draw more, or even just add another layer into your art, 
or add another layer into your art journal, this is fantastic. Now, what I have here, this is one of my personal journals. And what I want to show you is what has happened since I read this book, okay? Now, previously I've showed you my journals and they are nothing but writing. Writing, maybe a couple things stuck here and there. Here's the stuck things here and there, okay? So I'm still doing um, the scrapbooky type stuff, but if you notice, I'm doing a lot more play. Um, I'm having fun with it. I love this page. Absolutely love this page. Um, I'm also I'm playing, but I'm also journaling. Okay, I still have my journaling in here. I wrote "funky lady." What's with the lips? <laughs> um, I'm still. This is where I'm playing with alphabet. This is just ideas to steal. I want to play accomplishments. So this is like a work in progress. This is my. Um, husband's grandmother's funeral and these are from my granddaughter um, when we were out to dinner that night so I mean I am still adding my journaling um, I'm still writing what's going on uh, but I'm doing it in such a different way that it's more pleasing to me I'm enjoying what I'm what I'm seeing and what I'm doing this is mini art and this you'll see coming up this will be coming up this next year um, Thanksgiving Day, you know, we did a bunch of, I did a bunch of journaling on that. And again, this is just a composition notebook. That's all it is. Um, you guys have seen this. I put that on social media. Those eyes are not mine. They're collage. Just so you guys know. I believe in the person I want to become. I have no idea how this mushroom got on here, but I put sleep better tonight. Yeah, no, I don't have mushrooms to sleep, but whatever. Um, and what happens is I actually just go through this journal and while I'm sitting watching Netflix at night or just trying to wind down, I'll just flip to a page and start playing and start doodling and start drawing. And this is uh, my Buddha that lives out in my garden. I absolutely love him. And I just love this picture. It turned out so beautiful. So I just stuck him in here and I thought, you know, what does he mean to me? And I started writing all these different words. Okay. This is another journaling. Now, I had to do a lot of journaling on this day. So what I did is I wrote, but I didn't write in any way, shape, or form that anybody could read what I mean and what I'm saying. I know what's here. 20 years from now, I probably won't. Well, tomorrow I probably won't. But <laughs> but um, down the road, you know, I, I will have no idea what this says. But at the time that I did this, this is what I needed to do. And this is where I felt good doing it. Here's another one. Um, I've got some journaling on here. I've got a bunch of doodling. I've got a little bit of collage. Same thing. Just playing. And this one I had to do some actual writing. So this one I've decided that I'm going to journal on this page. Finish up the journaling. And then what I do is, like I said, as I sit there at night um, and wind down, I'll just take things and just play. And I'll start adding bits and pieces to this journal. This, my dear friend Ian Jackson, watercolor. Isn't that cool? Love it. So, um, you know, the page may start out completely blank. This one started out completely blank. I started doodling. You know, will I finish it? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen here. This is out of a Flow magazine. I just did a little bit of collage. Here's some more boxes. Um, the rest of it is pretty much empty right now, but I'm working at it as I go through. There's a payday. And then I also found, I'm just showing you guys this. Um, this is Alcatraz. This is when I was out in um, San Francisco back in 2008. I found these in a book in my closet. I don't know why, so I just stuck them in here. Um, you know, places I went. The Sequoias and Excrat in Mexico, which this show is phenomenal. If you ever get a chance to go there, it's awesome. But anyways, so this book has definitely made an impact on me um, more in my personal journal but I still want to bring that into my creative year also because I'm going to be creating these pages page looks like it fell out no it didn't um, I'm going to be creating these pages and I want to add more of this kind of stuff uh, like I said this one right here is my favorite page where is it um, I want to add more of this kind of stuff to the My Creative Year journaling. 
all right so definitely check this book out um it may or may not be for you i love it i think it's fantastic i'm really glad i purchased it um and like i said there's just so much information in here you can just sit down open up a book and just read and it's just amazing how much information is in this book see it's full just full of information so i hope you guys check it out um you know if you're not sure if you're interested in it go to your local library and just see if they can bring it in <coughs> pardon me <clears throat> um it is an actual just book book uh let's see isbn is 978-1-77046-161-1 and it says here linda berry is a cartoonist writer and assistant professor of interdisciplinary creativity aka professor long title <laughs> at the university of wisconsin madison in the art department she runs the image lab at the wisconsin institute for discovery a place where science mathematics and art and the humanities twist together daily like a funky double helix i'm curious when did this come out let's see if i can find a copyright on this see even the information is kind of strange um First paperback edition was September 2014, second printing in February 2015, and third printing August 2015. So, like I said, definitely check this out. It's one of my books that I eventually will end up with dog beard and notes and doodles and whatever of my own in it, um, or a lot of ideas from it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this book review. And like I said, you're going to see a lot more of this kind of stuff coming up in my art. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. And as always, have fun. That's what life's about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.